Just months ago, the city of Las Vegas was running low on drinkable water. That's because of the flooding on the calf cannon Hermit's Peak burn scar. Earlier today, Angel Saucedo sat down with FEMA and city officials in a story you'll only see right here on 7. Last August, the city of Las Vegas was down to less than a month of drinkable water. We realized that we had to work rather fast. That's because of a wet monsoon season that brought debris from the Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak burn scar into their watersheds. The river was coming down with a lot of sediment, so and a lot of turbidity was in the river, so we weren't able to treat that type of water. So Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham declared a state of emergency, and the city worked to find solutions. The average American uses around 100 and 150 gallons a day. We are asking our citizens to to use uh, far less. One of those measures with our federal government. Around $3.95 billion are going towards helping wildfire and flood victims. 140 million of that was approved to fight the water crisis. We were trucking in, you know, bottled water from FEMA. But burn scar flooding isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So the long term goal is to use the federal money to upgrade water treatment facilities like this one to be able to handle that burnt debris. We know how important clean, accessible drinking water is to to everyone, and it's a priority for us. We know this is a multi year effort. FEMA is tasked with distributing that money, and just last week, Las Vegas received their first $2.6 million payment. The treat current treatment center will be able to be reconstructed to be able to uh, treat the type of waters that we're seeing now in the river. According to Las Vegas Mayor Luis Trujillo, right now the city's reservoirs are full, but that hasn't slowed preparations for the next monsoon season and the years to come. We are moving just as fast as we can to make sure that our citizens will have plenty of water. I think that we can say that the government knows just how important it is to provide water to our citizens. In Las Vegas, Angel Salcedo, KOAT Action 7 News. Angel, thank you. FEMA is also pulling from that pool of $3.95 billion to support victims of the fire and flooding through their new Hermit's Peak Kafkinen Claims Office. That office scheduled to open sometime in March.